there are enzymes which are capable of completely digesting a strand of DNA, separating each nucleotide and then separating the components of each nucleotide. The human small intestine makes such enzymes. However, there is a different class of enzymes which are extremely important in biotechnology. These are known as restriction enzymes or restriction endonucleases. And they are important because they will not cut every sequence of DNA or cut away every nucleotide. Instead, they will only make cuts at specific sequences. So, for example, there is a restriction endonuclease known as ECOR1 that will only make excisions at the sequence GAATTC. The enzyme always cuts the sequence in the same way to create sticky ends which can later be rejoined. The restriction enzyme, ECOR1, will only cut a DNA sequence at the specific sequence of GAATTC. And so how many cuts that this enzyme will make in a specific DNA molecule depends on how many of these sequences exist in that DNA molecule. So for example, if there is one sequence of GAATTC, then ECOR1 will only make one cut. If this is a linear piece of DNA, then that creates two pieces. If this was a circular piece of DNA, then there is only one single piece. If, however, there were two sequences uh, of GAATTC, then the enzyme ECOR1 will make two cuts. If there were four sequences, uh, then ECOR1 would make four cuts. And so the number of DNA fragments created when a DNA section is treated with a restriction endonuclease depends entirely on how many of the specific sequences are present. The restriction enzyme will make a cut for each of these sequences present in the sequence of DNA.